Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 323-405-1341. That's 323-405-1341. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal Buyer's Protection Guarantee. Pace, 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 pace. What's good? That's right, A1 Drizzy. Flat power, my flat panther. <laughs> you see these fakers act like they went to the moon last night. That's a whole next thing. Um. Anyway, what's good? Welcome back to the Godcast. I am Lord Jamal. Uh, if you're new to the show, make sure you subscribe. Click the notification bell. Click all. We have a great guest in the house. Uh, before we start, I want you to peep the hoodie. Sent to me by my man, Black Dot. I am. And hang on. What's the link to his joint? Don't tell me I didn't create it. Well, let me create it now. Jump. Um, X. X dot. Okay. All right. So if you want this hoodie right here, it's I am. And trust me, it's it's got the embos right here. It got some embossed shit up here. Got some shit on the back. Is man, it's very well made. It feels great. I happen to have the, you know, the eye of raw hat that matched it all crazy and shit. Um, you know, you know how I do. Uh, so if you'd like that, go to shopurbanx.com. Uh, this is my man in black dots. Uh you know, these are his garments. I support the brother. And uh, yes, I am God. That's who I am. Who are you? All right. So listen, with no further ado, I got my brother in the house. He's right on time and shit. You know, a lot of times black people don't be on time. But this brother's on time. I love it. Um, Man. From the legendary BDP crew, a DJ, uh, producer, a, uh, and now we can put author under his list of accolades. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the Godcast my brother, Kenny Parker. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I'm loving that intro beat, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. You know. You know I get down on that the That was hard. Button. I was feeling that one. That's just a little something, little something sample free that we won't get in trouble for that we just Word. threw together for the guy. <laughs> we all, we've all been in that trouble before. Okay. Okay. I'm sure, And I'm sure you got some stories. <laughs> I've seen some crazy. I've seen a couple crazy ones, too. To share. Yes, about- I will samples and all of that but how are you doing my brother i'm good i'm blessed thanks for having me first of all man thanks for being here um yeah man you are somebody that you know you've been in this hip-hop game a long time you've seen a lot you've done a lot you know you happen to be the brother of you know arguably one of the greatest mcs and hip-hop figures you know of all time, uh, your brother, Chris, KRS-One. Yes. Um, right now, you have a book out called... Yes, My Brother's, My name, brother's is name is Kenny. That's right here. And that's from a line. My brother's name is Kenny. That's Kenny Parker. My yes, other that, brother, I see you as much darker. Dark. 
Shout to ICU. That line changed my life. Tell me about how that line changed your life. And I'm going to tell you how that song impacted my life and, and, wow. and, and my career. Dope. Well, you know, at the time when that song came out, I was in college. You know, I was a regular college student. Mm. Uh, my brother had dropped Criminal Minded, but uh, most people didn't really know me. I was in school. Although was, you look just like Chris, but hip hop say. was not as maybe your face. The, people's faces weren't as recognizable back then. It wasn't like today. There were no video. We had one. There was one video for uh, the bridges over that was real grainy. It was like it, I think it cost like a thousand dollars or something to make. It was really cheap. So most people didn't. And I was really, there for that. And we're going to talk yeah, about we that. Talked that yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of history. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway. Um, yeah. So, so most people so, didn't know what even I was gonna say, What would that be like going to school? You look just like your famous brother and you're just walking around. Kyle, what school were you going to at the time? Shout out to St. Peter's University in Jersey City. Okay. Who just made the greatest uh, NCAA run of all time last year. Really? Uh, in the tournament, basketball tournament. So I'm going to shout them out as an alumni. Okay. Um, I was, you know, people in the school knew my brother was KRS one blah, blah, blah. But outside of the school and my friends, it wasn't really, you know, that known until my philosophy video came out. And, and, and Chris said, my brother's name is Kenny. That's Kenny Parker. And for some reason, that line stuck. I don't know why it did, but some reason that line stuck. And he put the dramatic pause on the motherfucker. That, that's, that's why. That, that, he put you that dramatic. My brother's name is Kenny. That's Kenny Parker. And Kenny, you see, right? like, he really, like, like, let me be clear. Not right. just Kenny. It's Kenny Parker. My other brother? You know what I mean? And it's right, like, right, right. I had no idea he was going to do that. None. I heard the song on the radio. And um, from that moment on, I How was did like you a feel? celebrity. I was a celebrity. Right. I was walking around. People were giving me demo tapes. I was getting in clubs for free, signing autographs. I was the same person I was the day before. But when that line came out, you was I heard that hip -hop. line probably every day for the past 35 years. Wow. Probably every day. Because why not? Like, like. <laughs> it could have been, I could think of a million things. Like, I don't, I, I honestly don't know, but I'm happy though. Don't get it twisted. I'm, I'm not mad though. <laughs> he could have been like my brother, Kenny. He used to pick his nose. Like, right. like, you know what I mean? And that could have been the shit that everybody remembers. Every like, you know what I mean? Especially back then, a shout out was hey, nose picking Kenny. Hey, nose picker, how you yeah. doing there? Would have destroyed. He could have destroyed me. He could exactly. And Chris has a funny sense of humor. Y'all people don't even know it. Could, it could have been that. Right. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So that song, that was my philosophy, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so let me tell you about my philosophy. My philosophy is actually the inspiration for punks jump up to get beat down do you New see how man do you see how man sharpens man steel sharpens steel yes now i'm going to tell you how you probably can connect it right now but i'm going to tell you how first of all my man sincere peace to the god sincere he's the one that came up with the hook for oh. punks jump up he just yelled out, punks jump up to get beat. And I was just like, yo, that sound hard. Like, like, you know what I mean? Why did he say that? Why did he say that? So there's two parts on that song. Um, The first part is earlier on the song. Chris says, um... Something about a punk getting a punk. Oh. 
a, just that punk and I jump up to attack one. Right. Pick a punk and I jump, and I jump up, up to up, attack one. And I jump up to attack one, right? Then at the end, he says, when some clown jumps up to get beat down. Broken down to his very last compound. In his mind, he must have morphed those two lines. <laughs> the punks and the jumps up to get beat. And punks jump up to get... <laughs> And that's where that came from. And we just had a show with uh with your brother in North Carolina a few months ago. It was retarded. Sure. Uh Cherry, what's that shit in Cherry Hill that everybody is it Cherry Hill? Uh, it's one of these venues that's been there for the longest. Anyway, um yeah, I had told him that story and it just felt good telling him. And now it feels That's good no. telling you. Oh shit, Urban X TV. Thank you, Urban X. Y'all, you see, I got it on. That's Black Dot right there. Thank you for your donation, brother. I appreciate you. Dopeness. You know what I mean? Um, so yes, go get your I am hoodies right now. Once again, there's the link. Shop urbanx.com. Uh speaking of links, uh I have an affiliate link in the description right now for your book, sir. Uh, my brother's name is Kenny. Thank uh, you. So if you would like to purchase uh, his book right now, you can click that link. Uh, now, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you click that link and buy through that link, I will receive a small portion of the sale. We thank you in advance. Thank you so much. So much. Um, okay, let us continue. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, uh, your, your name got shouted out. And so from that point, you was, what was you was like, well, fuck it. I might as well. Was you already like DJing or no. you wasn't doing nothing? I was, I was, uh, playing basketball. I, I went to college on an athletic scholarship. Mm. So I was playing basketball at St. Peter's University and uh, minding my business. <laughs> and, and my brother's name is Kenny came. And then, uh, you know, I went on I went on a, a tour with Chris just to hang out for the summer. Uh, they were on a 50 city tour with Eric B and Rakim, Cool Mo D, Dougie Fresh. And everywhere in the country that I went, people were stopping me singing the song. I couldn't like in Indiana. I'm like, yo, that's when Yo MTV Raps first blew. So the video was on and it was crazy. Mm. And then later on, I became a DJ for BDP after D Nice 